state of the nation. Yes. Confused about all the changes going on in the economy? You should worry because you are all alone. There's big changes all around us. A lot is happening. A little corruption here, a little corruption there, a little corruption there. It's kind of it's kind of easy when you can directly withdraw money from NASA. It does seem like it's a lot to take in, and that's because it is. But let's take a step back and analyze why we. Where's it? Where? Chichugiji. Who ordered my phone? I saw him there. I saw him there. It's a potato. I'm going to get it. Mom's boys. I took a record. I took a record. I'm cheating. Ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends, welcome to the week with me, Comrade Fatso. I go away for a bit and the Zim dollar is back. Bread has become the new diamonds. Zimbabwe is banned from all international sports apart from drafts. And ED is arresting his own ministers. What country is this again? But first, Ntule Ngube, the new king of breaking news, revealed his mid-budget review this week in parliament. And yes, it was full of surpluses, hope, optimism, and other mystical, mythical, non-existent things. Here is our expert analysis of what is actually going to happen. Zesa is going up. Toll gate fees are going up. Fuel is going up. Inflation is allegedly going down. Huh? Ow. So Mtuli made the announcement on August 1st and then inflation just went Ooh. I mean, he's a magician, eh? Wow. Has anyone noticed that Mtuli never shows up with good news? He's never like, hey everyone, I brought you Toblerone from Duty Free. Every time he clears his throat, you know that some shit is about to go down. It's the one year anniversary of the July 2018 elections. And for those asking what has ED done since being elected, chi chi chi, at the week we'd like to categorically state that thanks to the new dispensation, Zimbabwe is now on a whole new level of innovation. Introducing the ZANU-PF Bush Bakeries, a new pop-up bakery that patriotic youthies can build when unpatriotic bakers are failing due to a lack of wheat and a functioning economy. It may look basic, but its level of innovation is shown by one Makonde bakery that opened for just a day when the ministers came to launch it and closed the day after. Now that is a true pop-up bakery. Showing their commitment to new ways of doing things, ZANU-PF has opened up bush bakeries at their headquarters in town. Who needs lobels or proton when you can eat a loaf of pear? Great to see that we are moving forward to attain our vision that Harare will be a rural area by 2030. Harare Maramba Fungwe. Ahoy. Ha! Mina. Izwi. 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 Sports News. Nakamba. Ingendi. My mana. 55 million. Zach, the Zimbabwe Anti-Corruption Commission, this past week shocked everyone, including themselves, by making an arrest. What? What was even more shocking was who was arrested. Priscilla Mupfumira, the current Minister of Tourism and Hospitality, was accused of siphoning millions of dollars from NASA. I don't know why comrades are so against Priscilla. Apparently, she was quite generous with her corruption, with allegations that she even bought a nice little house in Cape Town for Minister Seka Nzenza. Good moon. Apparently, Mpumira's shenanigans implicated a lot of top government officials, including the current Minister of Public Service, Seka Nzenza, who's been under fire for sitting on a bombshell NASA audit report. When asked about it, Seka Nzenza said, I am not dwelling on nonsensical stories. Yes, tell the minister, Nonsensical? Hmm. But voice ragged is suspicious. 
Rumors are abounding that Obit Mpofu may be next to be targeted by Zack. To which Obit Mpofu responded, Shell off to my little friend! The Zack arrests are all happening after the ZANU PF Youth League released their corruption list, which seems to have a lot of former G40 guys on it. And the ZANU PF Youth League were allegedly working with ED's son to create the list. Hmm. And there were rumors that certain ZANU PF MPs were planning to impeach ED by working with MDC MPs. Hmm. And Zack is run by the wife of ED's top shatter, SB Moyo. Hmm. Ah, oh, oh, oh. All right, all right, sorry, sorry. The marriage bill has been causing a lot of controversy. Most recently, because one of its most progressive clauses that would have recognized civil partnerships has been struck off. The reason behind this being that apparently, according to our wise cabinet, civil partnerships are not in line with our morals and values as a nation. It's actually an art form how our government selectively remembers morals and values when they want to. I mean, shouldn't women in long-term relationships have rights, even if they're not married? If you want to make your voice heard about civil partnerships, then get in touch with your MP because the bill is still before Parliament. Thanks for joining us on the week. Follow Magamba TV on social media. I've been Comrade Fatso. You have been the people. This has been the week. Thank you. See you at your nearest Bush Bakery and Futsack.